Look, I'm seafarer, John. Yeah, and seafarer Daphne is a boat that was built purely for pleasure. It's a real seaworthy boat. It's everything is heavy duty. It was it was built in the 20s, and it was all first class material and heavy duty uh, fittings and so forth. And we just feel good about it. It's just solid, safe boat. Red Jacket is coming up behind us, and so maybe you'd like to tell us a little about the boat. Yeah, Red Jacket's an interesting boat. She's had a very checkered career, and now a couple with a young child are making a living on her, chartering her, and uh, she's been a hot contender in the schooner race for a number of years here. We visited the boat, and we're going to have a chat now with an interesting couple who have made sailing a profession. A Red Jacket's built of uh, Alaskan yellow seed on white oak. She has teak trim. Her master, Spruce, which was built in 1920 by Blanchard in Seattle, and uh, a Ted Gary design. She's, um, she displaces about 40 tons, so she weighs about 40 tons. Eight tons of that is a lead keel. She's 62 feet on deck and about 14 feet in beam. And draws about nine feet of water. So we come into Victoria every week with our passengers. Um, it's a really nice stop. and. Uh, the classic boat festival we incorporate into one of our cruises and it's really popular people like to come for that well the owners of red jacket seem to be a familiar couple to boaters in the pacific northwest there are all sorts of names now this one's called the onaway that's right daphne onaway was built originally as a line boat to assist the empress liners coming into vancouver harbor and as we will find out classic boats are often the catalyst for renewing old friendships. Well, my father had it in 1938, and we used to cruise all around. We kept it in uh, out at uh, Canoe Cove, and he was the last, the eldest man to retire with from with his boat there after many, many years. And then, through ill health, he had to give it up. You know. What kind of memories does this boat have for you? Oh, plenty of wonderful memories. And we did a lot of cruising. We'd go off anywhere from three to six weeks in the summer. Of course, when I was working, I'd just get off and meet them, even up at Nanaimo or somewhere, and cruise around for, with them, you know. Well, the current owner is sitting over here very interested in this story. What's your name? My name is Cal Annis. Cal, how do you feel meeting people who've known this boat in the years past? This is so fantastic. I couldn't believe it when she asked me about it and she said that her dad was the uh, second owner of this boat. I'm the fifth owner and I fell in love with it last December when I decided to retire early and come to Vancouver Island. Not only do you have opportunities to see great old boats here at the Classic Boat Festival, but also to have reunions. 